I'm not going to pretend for a second that me painting a painting on a wall is going to stop hedgehogs being killed. What I'm hoping is that me doing that painting will make a few thousand people become aware. I'm trying to make a change for people's understanding. Listen, there is a crisis happening. I'm a voice for the silent. Within my personality is this power to say, I don't agree with you, I don't think you're right, and I'm going to say something about it. Raises the question as to why. We did think when we did pull up, we were like, why? Why is he? Why is he doing that? To see a, a hedgehog, <laughs> That's, that kind of blew me away a bit because it, it brings you right back to nature. Instead of just seeing like a brick wall, you see like something beautiful and you think, wow, like you can inspire someone's day or change someone's day or month. For me, it's the first time seeing somebody put a piece of art on the wall and it, it's very inspirational. With it being in street art, it's just much more bringing it to people's faces and the attention of people. They're not having to kind of seek it out. <laughs> You're just passing on a dingy day like this, at least you're looking at something nice and it just gives you a little thought about um, real living um, creatures like. Sometimes speaking, sometimes marching, don't get a point across. You're not going to reach the voice and the ears of an 18 year old who's living in the heart of London on a rough estate with an activist rally. He doesn't care. But if I do a painting in his yard and it's done with spray paint, I can identify with that. That's really cool. Then I can have a point of saying, do you know that this species is endangered? I've achieved something. I've communicated with someone who probably wouldn't have listened to someone else. We live in a world that's kind of busy and we're rushed around all the time and I think that it's so easy to forget about the environment and things that are genuinely important. Especially in new cities like London itself, people are very disengaged to the environment. We've almost become quite numb to it. It gives us a pause for reflection, um, and the environment is in desperate need of more pause and more attention. It's kind of cool that the pieces go. Here today, gone tomorrow, it's a terrific metaphor for threatened species around the world. If we don't stop and think now, if we don't catch that picture that's right there, that moment, it might be gone the next day and we may never know about it. And that's that. That's the piece finished. It doesn't have a voice anymore.
this is now because it it is now. It happened then, but it was a documentation of what is going on in your environment. it and they've enjoyed it and they've talked about it and they've learned something about it. People are hearing, people are reading and they're seeing that there's something happening. <laughs>